One size doesn't fit all when you're trying to put a rule in place, actually. When we try to do a new rule in Texas, you're almost looking at nine different states because the geology is different. How you drill in East Texas is sometimes different than what you're doing in West Texas versus South Texas. So I think you, the closer you are as a state agency versus federal government to the people, I think it means you've written a better rule that is makes more sense, is more easy to follow and work with communities. We're morphing from vertical wells only in the state to horizontal wells, which is a whole different set of issues than frankly industry or the railroad commissions ever had to deal with. So that's been interesting to watch and I've asked people for the last three, four years, okay, what should we do differently? And we've had some good industry feedback and good staff feedback, frankly, about what we can do. And I think having good common sense rules as we go forward will help us develop well. When you're looking at permitting, it is not just we hand you a permit and let you go drill a well. We have made you come get a groundwater advisory unit board letter to make sure you're protecting the water source that you're drilling through a freshwater source. We're making sure as you drill that permit that you're following our rules. If not, we have enforcement out there to make sure that we are out inspecting wells regularly. In fact, last year we inspected this past year, 3,600 more, more inspections went on out of this agency than they did even the year before. We take that very seriously. And if you, we, you're not following the rules for us after we've given you a permit, we can go as far as shut you down. I think that's what we ought to be doing as regulators, is making sure we are communicating what we do, that we have efficiencies, that we have transparency, and that if there are questions, whether it's somebody has a well on their piece of property or there's a city who wants to put an ordinance in place and don't understand what we do as a, as a regulator, that we need to be communicating better with, with all parties, not just oil and gas community. We are trying to get more information out the door about what we do as an agency and what's going going on in the state. It's an active state. Last year in 2014, we issued 25,000 drilling permits. We haven't closed out 2015 quite yet, so we aren't sure. We're probably half of that, but still that makes us one of the most active, the most active state in the country, and that's a lot of activity going on. So I think giving people information is always important. We have a more vibrant website. We have our IT is upgraded finally, and at least what I call phase one. Um, but have a more vibrant communication shop. We're now tweeting, we're now Facebooking, we're doing a lot of things that I think we need to be more involved in the communities and, uh, and reaching out to communities a lot more.